Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. How are you? Wow, how did you like last week? <laughs> crazy, huh? Anyways, it's gonna get more and more crazy, but after the end of the year, everything will calm down. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week, the sun is in the sign of Libra. Happy birthday to you, cuties, cuties of the zodiac. We love you. And also, the moon will travel in the sign of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. And we have something amazing this week a beautiful, powerful, super full moon in the sign of passionate Aries on Sunday. Yes, this Sunday. This super moon under the influence of the sun opposing Uranus, all the changes and all the spiraling of energies going crazy everywhere right now in our country and even in the world indicate some disturbance and some more surprises and a little bit of aggressivity in the energy field. So we have to be very careful and do things very, very patiently. And better take it easy also all week with you know everything we do to have integrity to be honest to say the truth and to be on the right side of history and to keep our eyes really wide open avoid scheduling any important events signing contracts and any kind of group meetings and stuff like that it doesn't go well so anybody in the political world or in the business world that is like <laughs> getting in groups well there should be some action there that's going to be some positive and some other ones a little bit less but it will be exciting on monday Sukkot begins and venus planet of love will leave passionate scorpio to enter more optimistic sagittarius the focus will be very much on travel exploration studies research and in the love department venus rules love and romance it gives more power to the single life. It doesn't really uh, put power on commitment and marriage and getting engaged. It's more single. So if you are single, you can meet your soul date in the next couple of weeks. So go out and just be gorgeous and flirt a little bit, a lot. On Wednesday, the energy is very high and very speedy. Good time to achieve long-term goals and to be bold and take a risk. But bullying, aggressivity is in the air, so it's very important to watch our actions, not to react, to be very diplomatic in our words, and also when we meet people, to try to be kind. Because with Mars, planet of war, aggressivity meeting Pluto in ambitious Capricorn and all this Uranus sun kind of a position, especially this time, it's like the only time this year, it's really important to have a very love and peace attitude in everything. So let me start with you, Libra. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The full moon in your relationship sector make you very popular, loyal, but also a little sensitive and emotional. Surround yourself with positive people and face your fears and believe in yourself. Go from fear to faith. This is no time to feel sorry for yourself. On the contrary, come on, have guts and face the music. Get ready also for a terrific weekend and somehow you will be able to, what is anything to do to relax you, you will be in the air. So maybe take a bubble bath and make love, whatever that makes you feel relaxed, that's what you should do. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, three and 36. Scorpio, well, this is a time to really dream big, fantasize, and treat yourself to a good time. Venus leaving your sign, going to your second house will also bring extra money. The full moon in your work sector help you see things clearly. A good time to do unusual things that help you really forget about reality. You, the crazier you are this week, the better. Time and circumstances work in your favor in everything you do and in love follow your inner feelings and do share with you, your, what you feel with somebody that you care for, your family, your friends, or your lover. On the weekend, magic awaits. So enjoy! Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 4 and 22. Sagittarius, 
well, smile, Centaurus, because Venus entering your sign will give you a lot of charm and it also brings breakthroughs. The super full moon in your creative sector makes you also mysterious, sensitive, and extremely creative. And somehow you get solutions to dilemmas you haven't thought about it before. A very good time to spend time with your family, your loved ones, your friends. You may have answers about a certain kind of event that happened maybe in your personal life in the last couple of weeks. And then you'll see clearly the answer about that. Home car repairs are favored and on the weekend people are definitely warm and kind toward you. Enjoy! Your magical color red lucky numbers 5 and 13. Capricorn, you've been working so hard lately maybe. Don't you think so? It's time to take a little break to slow down a little bit. Of course with all that Mars and Pluto activity because Pluto is in your sign right now and with the Uranus and the opposition it's sort of like forces you to rethink your life in many ways. The full moon in your home sector also brings a gift of gap, new knowledge, courage, and closeness with loved ones. More understanding also with relatives and neighbors and friends. Put your head first and your heart second. It's very important this week because it's, it's more, you need to be logical about things because you may be a little bit more emotional. So follow the head. I don't say that often, but this week you should do that. On the weekend, definitely speak your heart. People want to know what you feel. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers 9 and 18. Ta -da -da. Aquarius, the super full moon in your communication sector bring good timing and good luck in finances and career. You may have a special connection with your possessions, what you own, your car, your house, whatever. Somehow they make you feel more secure. You have a reason to enjoy them this week. Watch out for extravagant spending though and an ideal time to get rid of the old and be ready for the new. On the weekend, make some time for yourself, meditate on your goals and also on your love life. Reflect what are you in for, uh, is it something that's going to last or not. You may have to make some choices this week, so follow your heart. Taurus Capricorn definitely care, your magical color is lilac, your lucky numbers are 2 and 35. ta -da! Pisces, the full moon in your financial sector allows you to discover new things about yourself and new ways to increase your revenues. Get ready for positive changes coming in your life. You're more aware of your patterns and your habits and what you want and what you don't want and it's good. And in love, a good time to really say what you really mean and mean what you say. You're lucky also with group activities, helping other people, charity, and somehow it brings you reward to just be at the service of other people. On the weekend, friendship is very important. Your magical color turquoise, lucky number 7 and 21. Aries, the super full moon in your sign brings high energy, excitement, passion, creativity, assertiveness. You are the queen and the king of the week. You're very caring, you're generous of heart, and you have a whole new paradigm about you. Listen to the wise advice of Cancers and Leos, and in love, it's much more smooth sailing, your heart is more in peace, friends and family also are supportive, your health is better, everything to do with fitness and beauty is favored, so pay attention when you look in the mirror, what could you do to be the best you could be? Because the world is watching on the weekend, romance is definitely making you a nice offer. So don't be shy, say yes I want it. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, 9 and 18. Taurus, the super full moon in your spiritual sector make you intuitive, spiritual, creative and also lucky. A good time to push on your creative projects and commit to love, even if you been going up with somebody, although the planet Venus and Sagittarius is more for the bachelor, in your case, you could commit this week. Somehow you get along very well with partners and friends, you're very smart and determined to succeed and you have the ability also to get things done with ease in career and at work. Believe in your dreams because your success is guaranteed. On the weekend, family friends will applaud you because you did very well for yourself lately. On your magical color is green and your lucky numbers are 8 and 44. Ta-da! Gemini, Gemini, the full moon 
in your social sector bring better relationship with your workers, with your boss, with associates, with the people you work with. It's, a, it's still crazy, but at least it's starting to make sense where you're going. People appreciate your understanding and the efforts you've been making. And somehow a more warm and more fair approach. It's really working in your favor. Get ready for a big boost in your career, one way or the other. Revise all the plans and see how you could make it even more for the better good of all and yourself at the same time. The more you think us this week, the more you're generous of heart, the more you will succeed. You are moving in the right direction one way or the other. On the weekend, you shine like a star wherever you are. Your magical color is yellow, lucky numbers 4 and 13. Ta-da! Cancer, the full moon in your career. Remember, the moon is your master. It's in your career sector, this beautiful, beautiful super moon in Aries, your career sector. Give you a big boost to your personal ambition, your a, a clarity of mind, and a lot of faith in yourself. And somehow you realize the universe has big plans for you. So listen to the messages, to the synchronicities happening this week, the people you talk to. And there's also breakthroughs happening your way. So believe in yourself and put your heart in everything you do because it's time to truly walk into a whole new uh, paradigm for you, especially in your career. Somehow you are now walking on the path of rewards. So just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm ready. Don't be shy. In love and career at work, it's a reward time. On the weekend, generosity, gratitude, and maybe a gift will come your way. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers 11 and 22. Leos, this is an intense week, my friends. Yes, the fiery full moon in your karmic sector help you deal with matters dealing with shared resources, budget, friend, somehow friendship and the, the way you relate to people this week is very important. You also know who you are, you know who they are and how to handle the relationship sector of your life and somehow you know what you want and you know how to get it and you're able to achieve your goals quite easily so my beautiful lions first of all the energy much slower people are making less demand on you you could have a little more time to play on the weekend the occult and the metaphysical will also bring access to your life your magical color gold lucky numbers 2 and 56 Ta -da! virgo virgo the super full moon in your shared resources sector bring you compassion for other people and for yourself high intelligence and forgiveness your energy is high you can be a little vulnerable when dealing with partnerships and personal life but altogether you're doing good you have courage of your conviction and you're fighting for what is right for you i love it so affirm yourself for across this weekend sometimes you have to say no what is not good for you you say no no concessions and on the weekend, you are definitely rewarded for all your big heart and all your generosity from the past. You feel liberated somehow. So maybe some of you, you'll clean up the air about some relationship and say, ah, it feels good to be myself again. Your magical color is green, lucky numbers 4 and 48. And now is your wizard affirmation of this extraordinary week. In life, we don't breed. Life breeds us. Life comes to us when we unconditionally accept it as it comes, in the flow. Everything happens for the better good and everything grows into the light. Remember, have a fabulous week. Love you and kiss you. Be good now.